Hello, Gaz Williams here, and this is the first episode in a brand new series which is going to be investigating music technology, both um, hardware and software. And what I'm going to do over these episodes is maybe, you know, look at some of the applications of this, this new stuff, what, what we can do with it, and also share some tips along the way. So the first one I'm going to do today is I'm going to be looking at why on earth should you mix down at 32-bit float? Hmm. So when we make a mix down, normally we'll make a mix down once our song is ready and we want to maybe mix it down before it's ready for mastering normally. And what often happens is, you know, long sessions, we're at the end of the day and we just run off a mix. We don't go back and check the master fader and uh, if the mix is kind of clipped then the mix we take away you know is clipped and that can be a real problem uh, but if you do your mix at 32-bit float you will never clip your mix what that sounds a bit too good to be true well the way it kind of works is that there's a floating point and the floating point essentially means every time the maximum volume is crossed the sort of it just moves everything along a little bit so and then it if you cross it again it moves it along and what i mean moving it along it's a bit of maths but i think the decimal point sort of just moves a bit i don't really understand it too much but what i do understand is it works i'm going to demonstrate that now so looking at the screen here we've got a song let's play it it's asteroid deluxe a song called aslan and what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to add a whole heap of gain onto it so Let's chuck 10 decibels of gain. And quite often is, you know, when we're mixing, you know, we lose control of the track levels and gosh, we've gone right into the red. So we're just gonna simulate that now. So I've just added 10 decibels of gain. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make a mix down of the track and bring it back into the project so we can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna do it at 24 bit. So let's do that. Set the out 24 bit Aslan. 24 bit okay and we'll bring it back to the track let's just do that now so this is a 24 bit mix down and if we look at it now when it comes back into the track it looks identical and if I was to reduce the gain here oh we can see it's cropped well clipped so where we've gone over the mix down just doesn't have that in there. And if we were to listen to a little bit of that. Distorted. Ah, so our mix, you know, it failed. Anyway, but if we'd had, if we'd have been clever enough to have done it at 32 bit, let's see what has happened. Same process again, exactly the same thing. This time I'm going to, let's just name this 32 bit and set the bit depth to our 32-bit float. Everything else exactly the same. Let's render it down. Here we go, bring it in. And it looks the same as our 24-bit file did before we reduced the, the volume. But this time, and this is where things get really, really exciting, this time, when we reduce the gain, oh, whoa, not clipped, not cropped, but our waveform is in fact intact. So it didn't clip our mix. Now it would still play back clipped if I'd have played it without reducing the volume. In fact, let's do that first. Uh, let's just solo that. clipping quite nastily so let's then reduce the let's reduce that down like so and play it ha -ha! the mix isn't clipped so I think it's always worth doing mixing 32-bit float the file size is slightly bigger um, but it's the, the the fact that you could save a mix that could be potentially ruined by clipping makes it really worthwhile and remember that 32-bit file 
you would still need to reduce the gain uh, to stop it clipping. But the fact is, those peaks are there and are not chopped off. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. That's it for me today. And remember, 32-bit <laughs> float. It's your friend. Bye for now.